I just saw a recent paper that was, they've applied kind of the same thing to a self-improving agent that's playing Settlers of Catan. So we're seeing more and more examples. NVIDIA had a number of things like Voyager and Eureka that showed it early on with GPT-4. It was able to kind of self-improve. I mean, that's kind of like where a lot of people think we might see the intelligence explosion. Is that still science fiction or is it becoming more realistic? One of the things that I worked on, I got, so I went back and my, my master's in AI is actually from the mid 2010s because I had gotten a PhD. I was teaching at the University of Georgia. The things that fascinated me at the time were genetic evolution, which is basically modeling human evolution inside of AI and neural networks. And at the time, you just didn't have the kind of compute or algorithms to combine those. It's a massive amount of work to do that because of course it has to be able to, you have to create a population of different potential models and then those have to compete with each other and then you have to figure out which one's the best and then the the part that i don't think anybody's quite figured out yet this is the is the simulated sexual reproduction part what you have to do is you have to take let's say you have two highly competent models how do you combine them into something that's a child model mm -hmm. that combines the best of both of them or at least potentially does right i mean that's the whole point of evolution it's like well let's throw them together and see what happens and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but that sort of reproduction Production thing is an interesting open problem as far as I understand it, but the, the evolution is cool. That's going what to lead you, to very rapid takeoff. 